If you're struggling to stay profitable on your e-commerce business, the very first thing I'd recommend is that we work on improving your average order value. I've spent more than $40 million on Facebook and Google advertising, and your AOV is the one metric that separates the brands that can scale from the ones that struggle. Oftentimes, correcting just this one thing can completely change the trajectory of your business growth. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 tactics, seven, eight, nine figure brands use to increase their average order value so they can scale their growth. By increasing your average order value on your e-commerce shop, you're able to spend more money on ads, put more money in your pocket in terms of profit and be able to scale your business at a much quicker pace. Let's get into it. The first thing that I would do if I was trying to optimize my average order value would be to adjust or add in cart order bumps. An in cart order bump is an offer that exists right before the customer clicks the submit button to complete their purchase. I found that it's fairly easy to get 20 to 30% take rates. Great products to list here are th more of what they've already purchased if it's a consumable or products that have a high affinity to what they've already purchased. So if I'm selling laundry detergent, a great option would be fabric softener or dryer balls or something along those lines. Ideally, the price isn't too much more than what they've already bought. Next, I test one-click upsells. A fantastic tool if you're using Shopify is Zipify one-click upsell. Basically what it is, is after the person completes their purchase, you can make additional offers. You can make upsells, you can make downsells. It does not impact the initial sale, so there's no risk of losing the customer by putting these after they purchased. It's pretty easy on these to get five to 15% take rate and dramatically boost your average order value. Bundles are another fantastic way to boost your average order value. You can take these bundles of your best selling products and, or high affinity products, and you can either place them in the bumps, the one click upsells, you can create a bundles page, which works tremendously well, I've found in the past. You can also create a bundles section that you commonly see on Amazon, where it says like commonly purchased with. All these drive up average order value considerably. Next, after bundles is build a box, which is essentially a build your own bundle program. Obvi is a fantastic example of a brand that does this really well. You can pick multiple products to add to your box, or gift box. And once you hit certain numbers of products, you unlock discounts, gamifying the AOV, as well as giving customers the opportunity to pick multiple products and save money. Another great way to drive up your AOV is to add free shipping thresholds. This is an easy way to drive up a couple dollar AOV boost. What you're going to want to do is figure out what your average order value is for your customers. You can do that by digging into Google Analytics. Once you figure out what that is, start pushing the free shipping threshold three, five dollars above what it currently is. You can then monitor in your Google Analytics what your average order value is over time and you can continue to push that until you see it stop working. Really easy way to drive up AOV. Here's a fun one. Everybody has a thank you page and you have the customer in a great state of mind. They're excited. They're, they just made a purchase. It's a great time to offer them some of your other best-selling products at a discount that they can only get right now on this thank you page. Since they're already in an elevated, excited state, they're gonna be a lot more likely to take advantage of this limited time offer. This one's got a lot more popular recently. The reason why is because you basically have no additional cost to provide the service. That is adding shipping assurance, not insurance, or a VIP customer service experience, or a expedited, skip the line shipping experience. Basically, you create a percentage of the total sale and you sell that to the customer to either speed up their delivery, make sure that they're happy with the product and guarantee that they actually receive the product. Lots of brands are doing super well with this. I'm not a massive fan of it, but it does work. The next one is pretty simple and not a lot of brands do it. It's price anchoring with bundle discounts. So Javi does a fantastic job of doing this. On their landing page, not only will you see the price for one bottle, you'll see the price for two bottles, as well as three bottles. And it's also using price anchoring to demonstrate how much they're paying per bottle when they get the bundle versus what they pay for a single item. And since consumers love the best deal, a lot of times they'll take the bigger bundle, which drives up the average order value and increases LTV. 
This is something that I've been seeing more and more on the scene recently, and that's a cart progress bar. It's essentially gamifying the consumer's customer journey. Let's just use an example that has free shipping threshold. The free shipping threshold might be at say $30 and you'll see that in the bar. But after that, you'll see a couple other potential destinations. One may be save 10% when you get the $49. Another one might be get a free gift once you spend over $99. And this really plays into consumer psychology. Again, people want to get the best value when they're making a purchase. If they think they're going to use your products, then they're more likely to go and allow this gamification into their life, into their purchase, and you're going to dramatically push up your average order value. The final item that I'm going to talk about here in this video on increasing your average order value is, is discount ladders. So what is a discount ladder? A discount ladder is when you have something on the site that says add X more products and receive a certain percent discount. These can be tiered. So you say buy three products, save 10%. Buy five products, save 12%. Buy 10 products, save 20%. The people that I know that have rolled out these value ladders directly on their product description pages have seen huge lifts in their average order value. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. You have no idea. I'm spending a lot of time putting out these videos and it really motivates me to make more. If you have any questions, make sure to drop the questions in the comments. I am happy to spend some time answering your questions and helping you improve the average order value on your store. See you in the next video.